<laughs> if you're watching this, you know that I just made a stupid mistake. I was thinking, oh man, I need to spit this gum out. And I just spit it on my glove. Rookie mistake. I'm gonna pull over here and try and get this off. Five minutes later. We are approaching downtown winners. <laughs> and when I say downtown, I'm talking about a nice little small town in Northern California. This stoplight ahead, I believe, is the only stoplight in town. But it's a, it's a, it's a, one of those small towns where everybody knows each other. Actually, just ran into a uh, one of my cousins, one of my cousins' friends' brothers. So yeah, I mean, again, what are the odds of of doing that? And in a small town, pretty high. If you if you end up talking to somebody, <laughs> they're likely to know uh, my family. Mostly because uh, my, my aunt ta taught elementary school here for, for decades. And so, you know, when you do that, you know all the families, you know all the kids. So basically everyone my age and younger, they're going to know who my family is. Anyway, we're cruising through Winters because Winters is on the way to Lake Berryessa. And this is one of those rides that I've been wanting to do for... Oh geez, pretty much since I started my channel, I was thinking of rides that I could do that are scenic, that I could take you guys with me and get some good, some good video for you all. And so here I am finally making it out here. I'm actually, I was close by because from my house and back, it's like an hour and a half round trip, maybe, maybe a couple hours. It might end up being a couple hours round trip. So I thought I'm already out here let's do this right now so here we are now the thing that might impede this little journey that we're taking is a wildfire that's going on really close to the lake and it's i mean if i just looking up ahead it looks clear and it looks like i'm going to be able to get, to get through here so hopefully we'll be good but you just never know if they're going to have any of these roads closed for you know so that fire trucks can get through unimpeded so we'll see how it goes but i'm up here so i thought might as well do it out oh, anyway but lake Berryessa, it's beautiful uh as you can see it's approaching the foothills up here so it's going to be a little a little bit curvier which is always fun on a motorbike so we got that and the fact that it is a beautiful day even though there's a little bit of smoke in the air it's nice and clear so we're going to have a nice a nice little ride out here uh, one of the other rides and i'll throw a link up for you that i've done just for the sake of the ride is the one around the sacramento river on the way down to downtown sacramento so we've got that video and we'll have this video now so what i'm going to do here is the ride up here will be it's a short little moto vlog here as we approach Lake Berryessa and then the way back will be a a silent video and we actually just got a new feature to the channel which is a Samsung Gear 360 and I want to throw a shout out to my girl Moto Carrie who is also in the Northern California Sacramento region for giving me a heads up to this Gear 360. Now, she's got a, a great little motovlog channel that you should check out. So I'll throw up a link for you right here as well. And you should check her out. Um, she throws up videos every single week. And I actually just found her. I happened, happened upon her on Instagram. So uh, I went on over to her channel and it, it's great. Uh, I like to watch moto vlogs, and if you like to watch moto vlogs, and you probably do if you're watching this video, um, check her out. One of the things I'm super envious on her of her channel for is her ability to get comments. She has a great channel, and she does, and she's really good at sparking, uh, you know, commentary and conversation. So you know, that's her being able to to bring up topics and subjects that that people want to talk about. So. Anyway, as you can see, this, this drive is, is amazing. It's super scenic, it's gorgeous, and 
I'm pretty sure I'm looking at some smoldering uh, hillside over there as well as that whole side of that hill there is, is black it's been burnt and that's really unfortunate you know it sucks but it's not an uncommon thing to happen during summertime here in California now I don't know I haven't been watching the news enough to find out if that's from from somebody being negligent with fireworks or something or you know someone was just careless and threw a cigarette butt out the window and started a fire but I'll just put my PSA right here don't be stupid if you're gonna do fireworks make sure you're doing it in an area that's not gonna cause a fire and if you're gonna smoke dispose of your cigarette butts properly and the more you know right so just don't be dumb so yeah this is a just a great ride it's a beautiful stretch of road right here nice and curvy again you're gonna see riders all up and down this road and it's because of the scenic route and the nice little windies here and again you got to be careful on these roads when you come around blind corners like that when when cars want to cut the corner and you just never know but enough about being careful you know i don't have to t talk to you guys if you're a rider you know the perils of riding a motorcycle so i won't preach so you know as a kid growing up my aunt and uncle only live you know 15 minutes away from here and you kind of take for granted that you live next to an area that is just so gorgeous and even even in the times when these roads were a little bit more uh more brown and and kind of just barren and dead because of the drought that we were having a couple years ago it was still gorgeous out here and of course there's the creek over here pewter creek that make it so at least there's green over here but you know the creek was running really low during the drought and we're finally back up to normalish levels i know you know it's only going to take a couple years of, of rainless winters to get back to that point but hopefully we don't get to there anytime super soon so yeah we're coming up onto a clearing here where you can kind of see the damage that's been done i mean there's even some damage right there I'm guessing that didn't have anything to do with the huge wildfire that's been going on, but uh, obviously the roads aren't closed and everything to this point is okay. But again, if you just look up ahead, so these hills over here are brown, those ones over there are black. Some real damage has been done here. And the nice thing about this ride up on the way to my destination i'm kind of getting a feel for this road so if i'm not behind a, a, a car on the way back i can take this a little faster but i i'm not one of those guys that's gonna get out here and and risk my life just to have a little bit of fun riding to me is fun enough that i don't need to pop wheelies or or do stunts so anyway if you've watched my channel you kind of know that already yeah, this is just gorgeous. I probably should have put the 360 on for the way there. Because I don't know how gorgeous this is going to be on the way back. And hopefully there will be some signs up here that tell me where the... Uh, what I'm looking for is a landmark on Lake Berryessa, which is called the Glory Hole. Now, don't, if you're not familiar with that term uh, in inappropriate ways, do not Google glory hole. If you do, make sure you type in Lake Berryessa before you do that because you're going to end up with uh, some, some, yeah. Anyway, don't Google it. So yeah, I mean, had I been, had I tried to take this trip not too long ago, 
I mean, there's the fire trucks there. I probably would not have been able to get through here. So thankfully, um, the good firefighters here of California have got this thing under control enough so that I can take this lovely little ride here this afternoon. But we'll we'll go up, we'll find a place to uh, stop off here, and uh, and I can pop on the 360. We can turn around and go the other direction. And that will be the other video. And I'll throw a link up to that video on this video. So you guys can see what's going on. Now, Moto Carry has done videos where you can actually use the YouTube app on your phone. And if you're looking at it in Windows 10 or more, I think, actually you can scroll around the, the video and see everything around that's going on. The 360 camera is pretty cool. So, Hopefully I can get it to work. This will be my first shot and I would hate for for me to get a bunch of video that's oh Something just I think I just got stung on my wrist Oh man, I Think I just got stung by something on my wrist. Oh freak that hurts Yeah, this will be edited out, edited out and hopefully I can just gut this out Hopefully that's all that was oh man that really stinks we're gonna have to find a place to pull over because this is really painful. A few moments later. Well, I have not been stung by a bee since I was a kid. And I got stung by a bee while I was riding. <laughs> I'll post a picture right up here too so you can see it. This, got, this ride has gone all kinds of wrong. Uh, my camera, my GoPro, trying to get some better lighting here. My GoPro fell off my helmet and luckily it fell off my helmet at a point where I could just stop or I was already stopping and uh, yeah the video is still running so you'll probably see that too but this ride is done or I should say this moto vlog is done I will uh, <laughs> promise better video in the future you never really know when this stuff's gonna give out so when it gives out it gives out and your moto vlog is over all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up down there. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button, which I'll pop up right over here. And also throw up some links to other videos over here in this direction. Guys, if you're riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. This is that one guy. And I'm out.